We're coming to you from Bobby Dodd Stadium on the campus of Georgia Tech with its postcard view of the downtown Atlanta skyline. And now it's time for the coin talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Georgia Tech will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Gathered in at the six. Got the corner. The 50. Down the sideline. He goes down at the 15-yard line. He came close to taking that one all the way. Still, this is a fantastic way to start things off. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Here's the drone. I don't think he got anything on that. From the 12-yard line, second down. Positive yardage. He's under pressure, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. You know, Brad, that time the defense brought the blitz, and I think it confused the offensive line. It's one thing to pick up the blitz, but you also have to be accountable for the defensive lineman, and that time the lineman got to the quarterback and came up with a sack. And he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Florida State to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Complete, he's got room. Brought down in the open field. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling, and he's set. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Gets it up the gut. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. Haynes picks up a yard on the play. Williams is back to receive. Calls for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 35-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Florida State holds a field goal lead. Got hit and still completed it. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Taken down around the 47-yard line. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Not 
to the receiver, and it's knocked away. Benson was the intended receiver on the play. They're going to be forced to punt away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect to punt. I don't agree with this call. The receiver's brought down before he can get there. They'll turn the ball over on down. Questionable play calling there by the coaching staff. It's way too early in the game to be going for it on fourth down. I would have punted the ball in that situation. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. And he's tackled around the 36-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. They'll get him for a loss. And that run got stuffed. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And they get the sack. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against them, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, you better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Tackle at the 41. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 26-yard line. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Seminoles in front, 3-0. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Florida State has a three-point lead. Gives it left side. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, second down. Fumble, and it's picked up by one of the linemen. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. Fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Keeps it on the ground, and they won't get the first down. Now, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on them. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. From their own 24-yard line, second down. The Seminoles taking their first time out of the half. Feeds it to the back. Gets to the 27-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackle made at the 29. The draw play gets maybe two yards.
And he's tackled at the 46. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Florida State is up a field goal. Got it, and brought down immediately. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Watch two, watch two. down right around the 40 so they'll pick up a first down there on a seven yard completion and how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver pass the sticks and get him the ball that was a great throw when you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play nice run there that's good for a game of five yards that brings up second and five from the 35 yard line let's go, let's go. it's second down about the 33-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gained five yards. First down. From the 28-yard line. First down. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Florida State is up by three. They'll bring him down around the one yard line. Florida State's called their final timeout. We're at play number nine of this current drive. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. converts the extra point. A nice nine play, 54 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you gotta recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. The offense takes the field they again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Set. Tight. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it second and 14. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. 
Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down around the 26-yard line. We played a half of football here. The Seminoles with a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David, David Pollock here in the studio, as always, to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Florida State's first half proved this. They might be smaller, they might be slower, but they're not scared. A two-score lead right now, but, and you know I'm always here to rain on the parade. Absolutely. Will they be able to handle the prosperity? They're not used to being in this position, particularly not in a game like this, on a stage like this. Well, there's no pressure on them. When you come into a ball game, you have nothing to lose. You're a significant underdog. You come out, you break out the tricks, you swing for the fences. But then there's something that happens. When you get in the third quarter and you look up and you go, wait a minute, we're up? We're, we're, we're winning? And, and I think how they call this second half is going to be huge because what got you here in the first half might have been taking a few more chances. You know, you knew you had to. Now you're up a little bit. I, I caution, don't get too conservative. Come out, continue to do what you've been doing to make you successful so far through the first half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Seminoles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football turf. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And he tackles him hard at the 22-yard line. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts and in getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 22. Gets out to around the 12. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Nice play to set up first and goal. Number nine brings him down at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. that time and with authority. Braddy's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. On, 
and he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Looking for his man, incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. He scrambled. Decides to slide. King gains around three yards on the scramble. Picks him up about three yards with a catch. Williams will be the return man. Signals for a fair catch. They got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from this quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Throws a bullet. Has it to the senior. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. the PAT. A quick two-play, 72-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Florida State lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia Tech's getting stopped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points on. Inside the 30. He laterals the ball. He picks it up. It's on the ground. And he's tackled right around the 30. From their own 30-yard line. First down. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Makes it second and ten. With a quick throw. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 30. Quick 
throw incomplete one of his receiver. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Williams back to return it. Tackle at the 37-yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 39. at about the 49. That makes it first and 10. Watch 20, steal that, steal that, steal that. He's scared. 20! He's tackled at the 31. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Ready. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 9-yard line. Tight ends can really be a wild card in any offense. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Second down. This one will fall incomplete. Tight end touchdown. And that makes it three scoring tosses for him. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he adds the extra point. Like they're lined up for the onside kick. Very deep to return. Three kick out of bounds. Keep kicking to. You know, there are a lot of things that can go wrong on an onside kick, but it's kicking the ball down. out of bounds is one of the last th things you'd be worried about. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 36-yard line, second down. Secondary has to feel pretty good about locking down the receivers on that drive. Receivers got the first down, brought down right around the 24 yard line. From the 24 yard line, it's first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Three, nine, two, 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 two. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. Touchdown.
touchdown, Georgia Tech. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Georgia Tech ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three yard line. And he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. And I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really paying off. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Take four, take four. Ready. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. From their own 33-yard line. First down. One more quarter to play. This one appears to be well under control. 31-7, Seminole. Six-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 36. Takes a hand off. Tackles for a loss. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Haynes gains eight yards on that play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. As a man, he'll lose big yards. So they're going to go for it here. Mike, 36. Mike, 
Less than three minutes in the game. The Seminoles will use their first time out of the half. from the 38-yard line. First down. Punt out in the open. He's at the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. You know, Brad, I, I know this game is out of reach, but I just love to see that these guys haven't given up. And there's more to a game than just thinking about winning and losing. As a coach, you want to see your team not give up and continue to try to go out and execute. Quick strike to the back, no good. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the eight-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 13. That is a loss of five on the play. That makes it third and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Just under two minutes in the game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And down he goes at about the five-yard line. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. Kill, kill. He's got it for two. For Peyton, he's been a force for this defense. This is one of those performances that the guys back in the studio in Bristol are going to be talking about all night long. It's getting to the point now where it's just men against boys. This offensive line can almost try to do anything that they want. The thing I always say is that when you're on recess and you're in eighth grade and there's this one big guy that nobody else can block, and he's just bigger, stronger, and faster, that, that's, that's what a dominant defensive player can do to an offense. They just can't. There's nothing they can do to stop Seminoles use their second timeout. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Taken back a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Under a minute left. Caught with room to work. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call. Almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. The ball is loose. 
Picks up the loose ball. It's careless mistakes like this that can completely turn a game around. He's simply got to be more careful with the football. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. This is the eighth play of the drive. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. States call their final timeout. From the 11 yard line, second down. This is the 11th play of this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. And he hits him hard at the five-yard line. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Runs it, and he's stopped short of the line of scrimmage. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. About the seven yarder. This one's in the books, and our final score Florida State 31, Georgia Tech 15. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.